Hey everyone, welcome to Life in the Valley. Just got back from a four day adventure there. It was a great trip. Got spoiled with the weather, that's for sure. It's more of a typical fall day here today, kind of cold and gloomy and kind of rainy. I think we're getting the tail end of the hurricane and that too, so. Oh well, we're just gonna head on back here um, to the back creek. Gonna uh, rebate my traps here, my minnow traps, and see if we can't get a few minnows. Well, hope you guys all enjoy. Cleaned out the creek there earlier this summer, starting to get fa falling in with a whole bunch of trees and just garbage and stuff. So it kind of flows back up to the house and if it gets built up too much, it'll flood the basement and stuff. I was coming back here, I guess it was about a week ago now. Look off into the bush, I heard some scurrying and stuff, wasn't quite sure what it was. Look over, it was either a, a wolverine or a really, really big fisher, that's for sure. It was about, I don't know, two foot off the ground, about four foot long with its tail and all that. Just kind of stood there and looked at me for a second and took off. The other day too, I was back here and a buck just walked out right down by me. Didn't even notice I was there. Put a little clip of that in here for you guys. It was pretty neat. So we made it back here. As you can see, I've been cutting some the dash and stuff. I gotta cut all this stuff out here yet. There's some more out and around the point here and a bunch of random stuff from the storm and that all down. I got all this cleaned up. You couldn't even see through here before. It was just totally mangled and the creek was all blocked. It was nuts. Got my traps set up kind of off this little point here. Go ahead and pull them out and see if there's anything in them. Oh geez, quite a few in here. I guess I gotta go get the uh, minnow pail. Couple in there too. Well, might just dump them out. Don't have to walk all the way back then. So, got my traps all laid out here. Gonna go ahead and dump a little bit of dog food into them and come back tomorrow and see what you can get. Get a little bit of food in each trap here. Don't need a whole lot. Get them all pinned up back together here. I did a video on these in the winter time, black versus silver traps. I might redo that video again in the summertime, but I've always found that the silver traps get a lot more minnows. If you guys want, you guys can go back, find that video and watch it. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a couple deer going back up in through there. It scared me for a second, I thought it was the bear. He's been tromping back in through here quite a bit too. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and get these traps back in. Throw this one back out toward over there in the middle. And I'll throw this one and uh, right up in there. Hopefully we can get a couple minnows. So like I was saying, we just got back from our four day trip there. Three night back, well three nights, four days, sorry. It was a lot of fun. Good guys, Lisa, I mean Hank. Um, working on that video there now. Hopefully, a couple days I'll have that put together for you, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on this as well. 
hopefully have an update video for you maybe out tomorrow see what happens oh well, please like and subscribe until next time have a good one